Hi, eighth grade. I hope that you had a great spring break and enjoyed the beautiful weather. I'm going to talk to you about your assignments this week. As you can see, we're talking about context clues. This is our Google Classroom page, and these are the instructions that you're to follow. The first thing I want you to do is watch the context clues PowerPoint lesson right here. I'll show you what that looks like really quickly. It's an interactive PowerPoint, um, and you're gonna go through it. There are 31 slides. I know that seems like a lot, but there's some activities that you're gonna do um, in that PowerPoint as well. And let me show you what that is. Those are on context clues, notes, and activities right there. Um, activity one, excuse me. Uh, you can see you can type your notes directly in the text boxes, or you can print it out and write um, them in by hand. There. Are, your first activity is right there, Context Clues Activity 1. Uh, there are 19 questions. Those are all in the PowerPoint slide. You're going to need to look at the PowerPoint slide to answer those questions. You won't be able to figure it out without that. Um, then you'll see this, Context Clues uh, 5 Plus. That gives you a little bit more information about the context clues, or the, excuse me, the types of context clues, and that will help you with some of your assignments as well. But those will just, just a different format uh, might be easier for some of you. Um, activity two um, is pretty simple. You are going to read the sentence and determine the meaning of the bolded word. And you're going to write the, your definition based on the context clues in your prior knowledge. You can either type directly into that text box or you can print it out and write in it. Then you're going to tell me what were the context clues you found in that sentence that helped you determine the meaning of the word. So you're going to com complete that document as well. Please don't forget, um, I put a text box for your name at the top. Please don't forget to put your name on those as well. Then you go back to Google Classroom and you'll see there is a activity, um, do we do activity three? Uh, Shakespeare, uh, I can't remember. We're gonna check it out. Activity number three, <laughs> sorry, I've been doing a lot of this tonight. Um, you are going to read the sentence right here and you're gonna look and uh, define the bolded word based on the context clues. And in this one, you're gonna tell me what type of context clues. Was it a synonym? Was it antonym? Was it explanation, example, or inference? Those are in that context clues five plus will give you some a little bit more guidance along the lines of how to determine that. Then you're gonna do the Shakespeare context clue activity and you're gonna read a, act, a scene from As You Like It, and you'll see in here there are some underlined words. And down here, there's a multiple choice where it's got the word mewling, and you're gonna decide, is it sleeping, reading, talking, or crying? Now, you can either bold that if you wanna just turn this document in to me, or you can print it out and circle and take a picture and send it to me, whichever is best for you. Again, don't forget to put your name on the document. Um, then you'll see back on our Google Classroom site, there are two goofy little video things here. If you guys want to watch them, might give you a little bit more information and be a little bit entertaining. Anyway, all of that is due on Friday by 3. If you have any questions,